Hey guys, what's up? It's iJevin. How is everybody doing? I am back with another episode of Minecraft Superflat. How are you guys doing today? Hope you guys are all doing very well. I know I am doing good. Uh, and before we move on, um, I just want to thank you guys. We had such a great live stream last night. It was really, it was one for the ages. And it wasn't even anything to do with like subs or followers. It was just fun. And... It, if everyone could be like that, I would wish it every single time. <laughs> Anyways, guys, so we're back today. Uh, we are on episode 8 today, guys, and I don't want to tell you the sickening amount of time I have put into making this thing completely covered. It is not good, my friend. Um, do I have any grass? I wonder if I can... Oh, I, I have one piece of grass. How did I get one piece of grass? Anyways, the little grassling... Do your job, man. You go, bro. I wish you guys could see my facial expression right now. <laughs> Anyways, guys. Um, oh, we should probably sleep. It is nighttime. Uh, so, yeah, I put a ton of work into getting this uh, covered up. Uh, it was actually kind of easy. I'm not going to lie to you. It did take a little bit of time getting the necessary material for it, as in all the dirt. But it was it was rather easy because we used essence seeds. Uh, essence seeds made things so easy. Okay, guys, so before we go ahead and move on, let's go ahead and get all these formalities out of the way, shall we? I thought of a very cool question of the day for you guys. Uh, by the way, this Viz armor is something else, dude. It's amazing. <laughs> it's like I'm just playing in creative Minecraft. Um, so I was thinking about Minecraft and how people love to build themed objects. Um gothic you know roman you know all these different types of themes and i thought what if they made a custom minecraft to fit only themes so this kind of goes back to adding mods to minecraft but it would be vanilla if they added it so what what themes would you add to minecraft so when i say this say they add gothic you know Maybe they add lanterns in. Maybe they add, you know, only, you know, torches burn out. Maybe you have to carry a torch with you at nighttime. You know, uh, all this kind of stuff. All gothic-themed Minecraft stuff. And they did this for every version that you added. What themes would you add in? I thought it was a clever, cool, a cool question. Uh, let me know what you guys think. I would love to see what you guys think. Uh, so last episode, in episode 7, I asked for 1,050 likes, and we were only shy by about 40. So this time we're going to shoot for 1,000, guys, because I know the Jevenators got this. So, um, I love how it just, like, tiny spreads over and over and over again. Doesn't the grass with Faithful look so good, though? It's just like, hey, I'm Faithful. What's up? <laughs> Anyways, guys, so, what is the game plan for today? So we're going to start off by working um by kind of planning out our center building here i'm gonna grab some landmarks i'm also i think i'm gonna craft some more of these do we have any redstone torches no but we can make some oh what's that okay uh so let's grab some sticks i don't think can i make redstone torches with that no sticks please what do you guys think maybe 10 more i think 10 more will do it I'm hoping that I have lapis because we used it. Okay, so we have seven more. Uh, there we go. So I kind of had this idea to make the center room almost kind of like this cathedral. Um, and not really any sort of cathedral. Not like, what? I want it to look exactly like this. Um, I don't know. I just want it to be sort of like this modular sort of. If we figure out one corner of it, we'll know the rest of it type thing. So, um, I'm going to go ahead and get these landmarks set up. Because I want to get them exactly centered, and it's going to take me a little bit of time. When I come back, I'll kind of explain what I'm doing. Okie dokie, guys. So, the center point of this is where I have it marked. Uh, ignore the torches. The torches are a little bit off, but I just kind of did those in a random pattern. Um... So this is our exact center point. So here's what I've got this I've got this sort of layout here, and I want to explain to you what this is. So in the center of this will be our command center. So this first wall and this first wall will have probably machine centered or something, you know. They'll be here and here, and then there'll be pathways this way, this way, this way, and this way in the directional corners. Um 
So the reason why there is two, three, three block space here, one, two, three, wires can go in the middle of this. We'll probably end up using Ender IO because those things are fantastic. Uh, you can put a lot in a little. So um, next up, we've got a five block space from that wall with the wires. And this is kind of just a pathway. Um, and then this will be the entrance, and then the entrance is going to be five wide. So what I've done is I've just kind of built this one corner up. And uh, so this will be kind of the corner. So my idea for this thing is for it to come up maybe ten blocks. Uh, four, five, six, seven. Oh, I'm not flying anymore. Eight, nine, ten. And then maybe we go in one and go up five. Three. Four, five, and by this point we're in the center and then we can make the kind of center points of this and so each side is going to have sort of that center point uh, I want this to be modular so I want to be able to build this corner and rebuild it in all four of those corners without having any problems so what I'm going to do now now that I'm kind of giving you a base layout is I'm going to kind of start working on this um, mainly just the outside shell for now, um, and sort of once I, when I kind of have that worked on, I'll be back. Okay, so I've got sort of just this one wall built up first, and I think I want to make the entrance to this five high as well. One, two, three, four, five, something sort of like that, um... So you're probably thinking like, holy crap, Jevin, this thing looks ugly. But this is kind of where we can take our artistic liberty and build it how we want to build it. Now, the first thing that I, I know about a lot of, um, hold on, I'm gonna, I wonder if we have a saw. First thing I know a lot about uh, um, the cathedrals, no, we don't have one, um, is that they have tons of arches and I'm good at arches. I know that for a fact craft that so I'm building this in cobblestone um, there we go yeah so I'm, I'm starting this off in cobblestone because I want to um, sort of rough in how it's gonna look so maybe we kind of go up like this um, here so I'm only gonna show you a little bit of me actually building this it's it, believe it or not um, building on camera is probably one of the most stressful things to do, um, because you're, you're, you're on the spot to kind of make whatever you're building look really, really good. And it's really, really stressful. <laughs> uh, so we'll do stairs. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. There we go. I, I want this to look like an arch as much as possible. There we go. That's yeah. That's looking a lot better. Do some stairs, and then we'll probably throw a flat top on that like that. So it's kind of hard to see, but if you get up closer, you can definitely see more detail. Uh, I probably should have used something uh, not cobblestone to do the detail in, but obviously we're gonna kind of um. Whew, excuse me. We're gonna change it as we get there. You know. Um, so one thing I also know about these kind of places is that. When they're doing the detail, man, I almost want to use a regular stone there. Here, let's see, let's compare. Let's see what regular blocks look like compared to that. I don't like that, okay. Um, one thing we might consider is just cutting this in half. Um, I guess I can't do it like that. I sort of want maybe a pillar instead of a full half slab coming off. So you see how thick that is? I can rebuild all of this in micro blocks. That's not a problem. Um, let me get rid of this. So continuing on that sort of theme, we'll go up. Crap. Oh, wow, I fail. These are hard to play sometimes, though. Thank you very much. Contrary to popular belief. Um, so I'm just going to build these two walls up. 
And so as I go up, I'm going to be adding more and more curves to this. Oh my goodness. Stop. And, um... So how high did we do this one? We did three. Uh, one, two, three, four. Okay, so it's definitely the same height. And... I can't believe I actually placed that right the first try. How about that? There we go. There we go. And then it had a half slab right here. So you see how we're kind of ro rolling that up the middle? And some things we can also do um, to just kind of make this pop a little bit more is, um, you know, maybe we put a stair here, put a stair there, put a stair there. Uh, I can build that out of, of micro blocks if I need to, um, like this. There we go. And you see how we're kind of, we're kind of all pointing towards the top there. So I'm going to work on this for a little bit, kind of get where I want to be with it, and then I'll come back. Okay, so I've been messing with sort of a design here with the micro blocks. Um, so I decided to just use wood for now because um, I really want to get some sort of white brick. Um, what kind of bricks do we have in this? Well, we've got ice. The chisel ice looks epic, though. That looks so good. What's this? Fantasy block. That looks cool. Now, the only problem with the chisels is that I can't actually micro-block it. Um, so whatever we chisel, we have to make sure that we can actually micro-block. Or whatever we use, we actually have to make sure we can micro-block. I know Darkcraft has blocks. We could probably use the white one from that. Uh, unfortunately, there really isn't the kind of textured brick I'm looking for. Now, seared brick, that's possibility. Uh, can we get seared brick in different... Um, I don't see it. Here, let me look it up real fast. I wonder if I can get seared brick in micro blocks. Okay, so you can sear bricks in micro blocks. Now, what kind of white block could we use? What's this one? Extra utilities. Ooh. I didn't even realize extra utilities had um, colored blocks like that. How do you... How does one craft those? Uh, here. Because that could be sort of perfect, man. As long as we can chisel those... Okay, it's probably going to be super laggy. Anytime you do this with any eye, it just sort of messes everything up. Uh, hello? Are you going to work? Okay, I think we're good now. Here, I'm going to get rid of this. So what blocks... Does it not have... I swear to God, I just saw full bricks with extra utilities. <laughs> like, what is going on? You can make jackets, but you can't make full brick? Hold on. Um, colored. That should be what? Oh, yeah. That's exactly what I'm looking for. The white and either the light gray or the dark gray. Don't think I'm going to use black. That'll be perfect. And uh, so what I want to do is I kind of want to make the runs of this go up, uh, up, 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 and then we'll have like this kind of curved arch coming this way. Same with this, and we'll meet in the middle. Uh, and then up here we'll kind of um, curve that up, curve that up, and then continue building upwards. And then we'll make this kind of cool looking point to this. Um, but as you can see, this is kind of my general idea 
Um, but working with micro blocks, it's really kind of hard to just be like, hey, I'm just going to build this, you know? It really takes almost trial and error. So I'm working hard to get it the way I want it. Um, I'm not going to settle this time. I'm going to get it to, to, you know, really, really the way I like it, I think. So I'm, I think I like it so far, though. Okay, guys, I am back. I have been smelting stone here from my cobblestone selection or collection, and it, honestly, it's just not going to be enough. So I got to thinking, how could I remedy this situation? So we're going to set up the vein miner, or not the vein miner, but we're going to set up the digital miner to do this for us, and it's going to be fantastic. Take all that out of there, and then I need cable. Uh, basic, advance, and you know what, we'll grab the basic too. I think that's everything I'm going to need. I'm going to set it up down here, kind of a little bit out of the way. I'm not sure if it loads its own location. Do we have a chunk loader? Chunk loader, please. Can we craft a chunk loader? I'm not, like I said, I'm not sure if it loads its location or not. We are missing this. Uh, um, I think I would rather have a spot loader. Yeah. That way we can use it later on. Okay, so let's go ahead and set this up. Like I said, I want to kind of get this out of the way some. We're going to have to remember to check on this thing pretty constantly. Um... Okay, let's put this down and take that out. Config. Okay, I'll have to clear that in a second. Let's get it. Oops, let's get it some power. So we'll put a solar panel there. And we'll put a solar panel. And bring a pickaxe with me. <laughs> Oops. Uh, so yeah, the building is coming along. I've been working on sort of the interior part as well. Um, but we need stone. We literally need all the stone we can get, guys. It's very important. Dude, with this armor, you can see these, uh, these nodes so well. Like, it is so crystal clear. Okay, let's try that again. Um, I don't have, uh, gonna make me break some blocks, man. Is that still not far enough over? Wow. I didn't realize how many blocks this thing actually took up. There we go. Okay. So, to get power to this, I'm going to need... Which one? It's got to go on the side. There we go. So, now it has power. Um, so what I want to do is I want to go in here, config, delete, or dictionary. Okay, so config, item stack, save. Now, I only want it to get to that stone. Radius, good to go, good to go. Let's go back. So touch on. And I forgot pipes. And it's getting dark. Um... We gotta remember to sleep. By the way, guys, inside of our dome there, a zombie spawned and broke all the torches. It is pure death down there. Um, pipe. Haha. -ha. Here we go. Because, uh, I'm hoping that, like, I don't know if there's any other stone in the game, but I'm really hoping that it doesn't pull any other stone up. Because that would not be good. We do not have time for other stone. And... Burp, burp, burp. Auto eject on. My brain hurts a little bit. Does it need to be powered? Are we still on this whole powered phase? Why is that not... Maybe it needs to be a different one. Wasn't there, like, two different pipes? I'm sorry, guys. This should not have taken this long. I am a nubcake. 
uh, item pipe. What's the other pipe called? Hold on. Yo, make me look it up, man. Uh, there's like four pages of pipes. <laughs> Why do you do this to me, game? I didn't even see the mechanism ones. Alright, uh, if I can't find it in a second, I'm just gonna cut. Because this is getting out of control. Item transport pipe. What, don't I have item transport pipes? How do I craft these? Oh, that's Project Red. We don't want Project Red. So these pipes should work then. Alright, for the life of me, I cannot get auto-eject to go into this stupid chest. I don't know why, it just won't connect. Uh, the other time it worked just fine, but now it's just like, no, I'm not gonna collect anything because I'm stupid. <laughs> Anyways, guys. So it is just mining away here. It looks like it's only going to get that stone, which is good. Uh, so now we should be able to make all the bricks in the world. All right, guys. So I, I kind of, I did a thing. You're probably, you, I don't know what you're going to say, but I did a thing. Um, so I, I kind of built something else. <laughs> um, you know... The cathedral idea was a good idea, and we might still do it, but I don't know. Um, I was thinking, like, man, it would be really cool to build with purple. And then next thing you know, I'm just destroying the, gra the ground, and, like, I'm just like, well, what if I just milled these arches, you know? Seems like that'd be cool to put an arch down here. Then I made the four arches, and I'm like, what if I put some clay in? And then, like, maybe if I get some purple Tinker's Glass, and then, like, this thing turned up. I don't know, but I love it. I don't know why I like it so much. It's just so simple, and, like, it's... I like it. So, this is our command center for now. <laughs> um, so, I, I was thinking maybe we might indent the middle and go down a couple blocks, and... The floor is very mesmerizing, but I like it. <laughs> uh, I don't know. Um... I kind of always kind of like go with a themed build and this time I was just like you know what I'm just gonna build and when I just built this is what came up so I hope you guys like it I don't know I just thought it would be fun to build something different this time um, this is stone ornate block so this is just regular stone uh, chiseled and um, I like it I don't know <laughs> anyways guys uh, I think I'm going to go ahead and end the video now, mainly because it's 8 in the morning and I've been up all night recording. <laughs> Anyways, um, so don't forget about the Geminator Challenge and the question of the day, guys. Blue. <laughs> Anyways, I hope you all have a great day. This is iGevin. Peace out.